Welcome to the CA Courtesy Training Video. During the next few minutes, we plan to give you a snapshot of what it takes to be a CA Courtesy Brand Ambassador. When it comes to demonstrations, there is no better company to work for than CA Courtesy. Since 1987, we have been setting the standard for in-store demos. Our employees are cream of the crop. We only select the best. Working for CA Courtesy isn't just about handing a customer a sample. It's about delivering a customer brand experience that is second to none. We expect our demonstrators to understand the brand they're working with, know why customers love it, and how we can get them to purchase more. So let's take a look at the demonstration process and your responsibilities from beginning to end. We see the demonstration process as three distinct phases. One, the prep phase. Two, the in-store phase, and three, the follow-up phase. It really is that simple. Prep, in-store, and follow-up. The prep phase begins with you logging on to our easy-to-use online scheduling system called Demozilla. You can view your schedule, instructions, and invoices for any assignment. As part of the prep phase, you'll receive a demo package at least three days before your scheduled demo. Inside the demo package, you'll find a variety of tools like instructions, report form, and invoices, as well as other items like point-of-sale materials, coupons, and brochures that will make your demonstration attractive, informative, and fun. It is critical that you review the instructions, report form, and invoice the moment you get them. If you are missing any items or if you have questions, don't hesitate to call CA Courtesy's home office. Also, as part of the prep phase, call the store three days in advance to alert the store or department manager of the upcoming demo. Let the manager know which day you'll be there and what items you'll be sampling. Sometimes, there is specific training needed before you execute the demo. If this is the case, you'll need to call for a pre-demo training at least 24 hours before the demo date. The purpose of the call is to help you better understand the product you will be sampling. Be sure to follow all prompts and write down the confirmation number on the report form. A big component of a successful demo is presentation, how you present the product and how you present yourself. That's why CA Courtesy has a strict dress code. It consists of black dress pants or skirt, a white collared button down shirt or blouse, a black CA Courtesy apron, name tag, black CA Courtesy hat, black closed toe shoes, and occasionally a black bow tie. And remember, no jewelry, minimum makeup, and make sure your hair is pulled back. Please make sure you're in the correct dress code prior to leaving your house. Now, let's look at the in-store phase of the demo process. When you get to the store, call the check-in number listed on your instructions. Enter your assignment ID and verification code. The assignment ID will be different for each demo, but the verification code will always be the same. Your phone call lets us know you are at the store. You will be issued a confirmation number. Write this number on the instructions. Next, go to the customer service desk and ask for a no sale receipt. This will document the store location, the date, and the time that you arrived at the store. Take a second to verify that the store number on the receipt matches the store number on your instructions before beginning your demo. You just want to be sure you are at the right store. Then, just staple this receipt to your invoice. Ask customer service to page the store or department manager for you and make sure to thank the people at customer service for their help. After that, make sure you check in with the department or store manager, inform the manager that you will be demonstrating, and ask where to set up your table. Also, please take time to thank the manager for allowing you to demo in store. Once you have determined the exact demo location, set up your card table with black tablecloth, trash container with trash bag, and other items listed in the instructions. If you're sampling a non-perishable item, get the product from the shelf and create an attractive display on your table. Make sure the UPC code on the product matches the UPC code on your instructions. Save all packaging from products and supplies used during demo neatly under your table. You will need to pay for the packaging when the demo is completed. Display any POS materials that were sent, including the attention parent sign and, if cooking is involved, caution hot appliance sign on your table for the duration of the demo. Remember, the main goal of your demo is to sell the featured item. Make a note of the aisle the product is in and its price so that you can inform customers. Familiarize yourself with the product so that you can relay key selling points to the customers. Also, make customers aware of any ingredients that are common allergens, such as peanuts and gluten. Greet all customers who are in the general area of your table. 
You should be friendly, warm, and approachable. Have fun. You are handing out free stuff that's really good. Remember, you are that brand's ambassador. For a split second, when you hand that sample to that customer, you are the product's representative. If they enjoy the sample and their interaction with you, it is far more likely the customer will purchase the product than if you had just handed it to them without care. Also, keep in mind that the consumer likely thinks you are working for the store. Therefore, you may be asked questions unrelated to the demonstration. Please be helpful. Answer the questions you can. And for those you can't, direct the consumer to a store employee. Always be gracious and genuine. Here are some safety reminders you don't want to forget. Do not allow customers to take their own samples and potentially contaminate other samples. Always use the provided hand sanitizer before and after handling food and between each glove change. Wear gloves at all times when handling samples and change them frequently. When you take your meal break, fill in the laminated break sign and display on your table. Your table must be cleared of everything and any appliance must be unplugged and stored under your table. Breakdown. Use the last 15 minutes of your demo to clean, make purchases, and do the necessary paperwork. Discard any product that has been opened but unused. If the demo requires you to purchase product and supplies, bring the saved packaging stored underneath your table to be scanned at checkout. Use your ComData debit card to buy only the items listed in the instructions. The card will not allow you to exceed the maximum purchase amount. Make sure you get an itemized receipt and attach it to the report form. Do not fill out the paperwork at your demo table. After everything is broken down, find an out-of-the-way place in-store to complete the paperwork. Finally, head back to the customer service desk and ask for a no-sale receipt if your demo did not require a purchase. Attach this receipt to your invoice. Ask customer service to page the store or department manager for you in order to check out. Have your paperwork signed and store stamped by the manager. And please, remember to thank the manager for hosting the demo event. The last, and perhaps easiest step, is the follow-up phase. All you need to do is mail the instructions, the invoice with the no-sale receipts attached, and any report form with the itemized product and or supply receipts back to us. So now, you have a solid understanding of what is expected of a CA Courtesy Brand Ambassador. We have streamlined our process to make it easy for you to execute and it will allow you to spend the majority of your time interacting with customers, representing the brand, and creating a feel-good experience that will surely lead to more sales. Thanks for watching and have an amazing demo.